Hello, awesome people. Happy Tuesday. I hope you're doing good. It's your girl Sika in the house. This is just a very short video here because uh, I've got to dash off in the next 10 minutes. And I was just passing by to remind some of my sisters about one very huge catastrophic mistake that a lot of us have made in our lives that has cost us so much cost us so much in our lifetimes what is this thing it is good to have somebody that you can confide in you can talk to about your issues because you know a problem shared is a problem halved but at the same time before you go telling people your business before you go confiding in people it is important that you actually know who this person is it takes time to build trust and it takes time for you to have somebody that you can call your confidant that you can share everything with in a vulnerable manner without that person going out there to spew whatever you said and in this particular example i want to actually liken it to relationships and marriages that we women find ourselves in and the common mistake that we make in sharing things about our relationships with other people. This weekend on Saturday, God willing, I would have a bit more time to really delve into this much deeper, but this is just kind of like a teaser, but this particular point is actually one of the salient ones that if most of my sisters will be absolutely honest somebody that you trusted so much a sister a friend that you confided in so much ended up being the person that betrayed you the most as well if you're married in a relationship whatever it is there has to be that part of your life where you call it private and confidential we women are emotional beings we were made to be able to express ourselves a bit more than our, our brothers do. That's not to say our brothers are not emotional. It's just the way that they express their emotions is a lot different to the way that we would. Now, with this emotion comes the tendency that we talk to everybody that we see who will listen and give us a listening ear. But in this day and age, there are a lot of people who are just... Uh, wolves in sheepskin who are looking for people that they can prey on so you might have a friend who is on the face of it so loving so kind and pretends to be so concerned about you but all they're looking for is information about you and your life that they can go out there and tell everybody else about i'm not saying don't share your issues with people i have a confidant I have people that I know that I can trust and this trust has been built over time where you've had conversations with them one-on-one -on -one and you never ever hear this conversation had with other people. As soon as you have a friend in your life, and when you talk about even general common things that don't really concern any particular person or aren't going to hurt people, but you hear it being said by somebody else soon after that, a common person that you know, a lot of the times, that is a very good classic indication that this isn't somebody that you can tell your very deepest secrets to and the person will keep stum about it. A lot of my sisters have lost good relationships and good marriages because of some friend that you confided in about what was going on in your marriage or your relationship. Some of us women, we talk. Oh, we talk so much that we even tell our partners, our friends, the person that you think you can trust, nitty gritty details about the size of your husband or your boyfriend's manhood you're talking about all of these things with another human being who eats pepper and salt honey there's just supposed to be certain things that are just private and confidential and if you don't learn how to draw these boundaries and say that look this information is for me and my god to take to the grave you will be so disappointed 
find people that don't even know anything about you. It's sometimes it's just best to go outside of your own circles and your own community. Pay somebody who is a counselor and a therapist who can listen to what you have to say and give you firm, unadulterated, honest, objective advice rather than confiding in that friend who you think loves you more than sense. Not everybody who smiles at you, hangs around you, sleeps on your bed, eats your food, wears your clothes, loves you. I have said this a gazillion times and I'll continue to say it that there is no art to tell the mind's construction in the face. Somebody will be looking at you and smiling at you and laughing with you, jumping and giggling all around you. But if they could open their skull to show you the thoughts that are actually going on in that person's mind. <laughs> My darling, you just might drink poison and take your life. Because this person is somebody that you love so much and wouldn't want a fly to even hover around their head. But they don't even want you to survive the next day because there is something in you that they wish they had, which they don't. And because of that, they are envious of you. Watch out for the friends that you keep, the company that you keep around you. You know, genuine love and concern for another person cannot be faked for too long. You can't fake that for too long. When somebody genuinely cares about you, it's effortless. They don't have to fake nothing. They don't have to think about it. It is just spontaneous. But there are certain people that are hanging around in our lives and they are the very people that are bringing and causing the destruction that is happening in our lives to us because we don't have the fortitude and ability to see beyond what is superficial and make tangible, informed decisions about human beings. And so my love, my advice to you, if you hear the sound of my voice this morning, is that sometimes there are just certain things that need to be kept in boundaries. You have to draw the line and draw boundaries for human beings. I have everybody that knows me in compartments. I have my family in compartments. I have my siblings. I love them more than sense. But I know who to go to with which information and who to talk to about what. And if this information is deep, personal, private, confidential information, honey, <laughs> you need to really weigh the person up. Turn them around, somersault and everything before you decide. The person that you're opening up to about the core of your being. Because otherwise... Sometimes you can tell somebody something about yourself and by the time you've heard it third hand, the whole story has been twisted and it doesn't even sound like the story that you told even ever again. My love, so many people have been sent to their early graves just because of betrayal of trust. There's so much that I want to talk about but I ain't got the time today. But I just wanted to stop by and warn somebody this morning, advise somebody this morning, caution and counsel somebody this morning about that person that you think loves you more than sense. They could have known you for the last 30 years, but they hated you for the last 30 years. They could have been your childhood friend that you grew up with that knows everything about you. It does not matter. And they could still possibly not want you to make it that much. Sometimes the evil one sends people into our lives as people who walk around and we think they're so close to us and we love them, we care about them, they know us more than anybody else does, but they're actually agents that have been sent to monitor your very movements and give accounts to other people. So they know what your weak point is and know where to attack you where it hurts. So that sometimes when they kick you in the groin and you fall to the ground, you ain't never going to rise up again. Human beings. <laughs> yeah. The most wicked of animals on the surface of this planet. There's beauty 
and love all around. But you need to be cautious. You need to be prudent. You need to open your eyes before you know who it is that you're opening up your heart to, who you're pouring out your heart to, who you're speaking to about deep-seated things that are inside of you that you want nobody else to hear about. And you're thinking that you have somebody in your life who is smiling at you, showing their 32 to you, so it means that they love you. My love, you will fail. Not everybody who says, yeah, 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 wants you to make it in this life. Don't let smiles deceive you. Don't let fake teeth fool you. Some people, uh, uh, the devils incarnate in your lives and the way to get hold of you is by being overly generous to you to the point where you think, hey, this person is so kind. How can they possibly want anything bad to happen to me? But in the core of their soul, <laughs> nothing about what they think about you is positive. Be wise. Ask for the spirit of discernment so that you can know the true heart of this person. And the reason why they claim to care so much about you and want you to succeed, so they claim. Do they actually want you to make it in this life? Or are they just hovering around you because they ain't got nothing better to do? Or they're monitoring. They've been sent as a monitoring agent around your life to bring you to your downfall and to your ruins. Think about what happened to Samson. If you don't believe what I've said to you. It is trusting a woman. And, and being so uh, smitten by her. And telling her where his weak point is. Is what caused Samson his downfall. There is no art to tell the mind's construction in the face. Think about what I've said. And I hope that it blesses your heart today. Look critically about that person that you're confiding in with your information, personal, confidential, private information that nobody else should know about. Think about it. Think about it before you open up to people about the core of your being. If this message has helped you or has made any sense to you, please share it on your personal profile page. There's somebody that just needs to hear about Things to consider in choosing who your confidants are or the people that you're choosing to give personal, confidential information about your life to. Share it on your personal profile and God will bless you. If you haven't yet hit the follow button on Facebook, do that. And I have a YouTube channel also called Sika Educate that I'm trying to build with your help. There's over 60,000 of us here on Facebook. If just a tenth of us were on YouTube, this message would go far. And I'm counting on you, you, my Facebook family, to help me do this. And if you haven't downloaded Tap Tap Send yet to send remittances to your family back home, you don't love me. Do that. Use the promotional code AKUSIKA. -A. The first transaction will bring you an extra $15 if you live in Canada and the U.S., Five pounds if you live in the United Kingdom and five euros in the rest of Europe. It does not get better than that. I use it all the time. May the heavens bless you. I pray that this word of mine this morning will fall on some fertile soil. You will get it screwed on into this part of your brain. And don't just think that people are loving you on face value actually mean well for you, actually care about you and want to see you succeed and make it in this life. Those people are few and far between. Think and open your eyes. Ask for discernment before you go divulging things about the core of your being to other people that can be weaponized and used as a tool to bring you to, to total desolation and destruction just because you couldn't keep your mouth shut. And you went talking to somebody you never had no business talking to. And they brought you to your downfall and to your knees. I love you so much. My name is Sika. Have a fantastic Tuesday. And may the heavens bless you. Mm -hmm. Bye.